Yo, what is going on, guys? It is May 18th on Tuesday's trading day. I want to give you guys a video on why GameStop has a lot of potential to hit 100k a share and also 500k a share. I'm going to roll that intro, but please hit that like button and please hit that subscribe button for me, guys. Drop a comment in the comments, whatever you guys want to do. All right, guys, a lot of people are not keeping up with GameStop due to the fact that AMC has a lot of hype right now. And that is the other stock people are focusing on, right? A lot of people own both, as I do myself, own both. And I think GameStop is not getting the recognition it deserves. And I think the reason being is because AMC is actually moving, right? And GameStop, we've seen it's moving, but we've seen it at 173 before. It's nothing new nothing nothing new to us right amc has yet to move out of all of its resistance lines and it is actually breaking through many right now without any resistance guys as you can see here now amc has a lot of potential and I, i'm not bashing amc in this video at all i love amc stock i believe that can definitely go to 100k 500k and i have a video on why that is possible and why that is likely going to happen to to 80k and under maybe that is just remember guys this is all my opinion just take this with a grain of salt and don't get mad at me right i think 100k is possible for both 500k may be possible for both now here's the reasoning on why GameStop can actually hit 100K. A lot of people are just losing faith in GameStop because it is not moving. One, guys, if you don't know what the float means for a stock, it means they have less shares available to trade to the public that the company has, right? So GameStop has a much lower float. And due to this, a lot of people are thinking, yeah, AMC is going to move because a lot more buying pressure and the stock is cheap. Correct. But they have a flat, they have a high float. And now what this means is that since GameStop's float is much lower, the more shares bought in GameStop, the faster it's going to move the stock in price. So if you slap 10 shares in GameStop, obviously it's going to be a lot more, but it is going to significantly move the price to as much as the difference in the float is to buying 10 shares of AMC, 20 shares, 30 shares, 50 shares of AMC, etc. like that, guys. So to put an example, I don't know how much bigger the float height is, but to put an example, say AMC has double the float, right? 20 million. GameStop has 10 million, right? If you buy 50 shares of GameStop to move to move the price to 100k a share obviously guys this is wrong say you buy 50 million shares to move the price to 100k per share for gamestop right you have to buy 100 million shares of amc to push the price to 100k now that is just one what, what the first point i wanted to get out of the way now the second thing is actually more exciting for gamestop and this is just a theory that i came up with that it could could not happen right so the past couple of days, we've seen AMC moving a lot. And I'm going to pull that up right here on Webull. If you want Webull, go hit the link in the description to download Webull right now. You'll get free stocks and so will I. That is dope. Not a, not a, um, not a promotion or a sponsorship. It's just so we can get some free stocks, guys. Right? So they the hedge funds do not like AMC over 14. We have seen that they pushed it down way back here. And they just, it is not a good spot for the hedge funds. They are probably very negative. And I think what I called before is once we hold 16 and 16 and up to the $18, they are probably most likely going to get margin called. And they were very close. They hit, AMC hit 1580 in, in pre-market yesterday or after hours yesterday, I'm sorry. And now, yeah, there's tons of hype on AMC, correct? But if AMC gets margin called, guys, got to remember this. If AMC gets margin called and they have to cover and the shorts cover their entire positions, then they go broke and they cannot cover GameStop's positions, right? 
then their account value drops very much due to buying back their shorted shares in AMC and their account value drops much lower. Therefore, the broker also tells them this is very high risk, the shorted shares you own in GameStop if the hedge funds own both GameStop and AMC in short positions. This is if they own both, right? The same hedge funds. Now, if the broker takes a look after AMC is covered, right? And this would be instant, guys. They would move together. The squeeze would be together. So if you own both, congratulations, right? So this is a theory. If AMC gets covered, very good. Hopefully everyone's holding to 100K. And then the broker is going to look and say, this is way too risky. Your account value is so low. You have to now cover your GameStop positions. Margin call. Bing, 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 right? And then they go, okay, I only have this much money left, blah, blah, blah. I can't cover my position. Well, now the broker needs to come on in and help them out and buy back those shares. They need those shares back, right? And that is when we actually set the price, guys. And this is what I, this is the better thing for GameStop. Now, the reasoning for this, you know what a margin call is, obviously, you know all this, right? But if AMC moves first, which it is, and it gets margin called first, which it looks like it's on the track to get margin called first game. And GameStop is not there yet at all, right? GameStop needs to hold above 200s, 220s, et cetera, probably 300 to get margin called. And and then if, if AMC gets margin called, guys, GameStop most likely is probably going to lead to this. And then we set the price for the broker because there's no way the same hedge funds will be able to liquidate both positions in AMC and GameStop due to their high short, high shorted positions and how high the stocks actually are. Now, this actually gives us a better price target for GameStop than AMC. And that is because AMC is covered. Yeah, good. Congrats. But GameStop is not fully covered. And we actually set the price for the brokerages. So that is the excellent excellent theory i got for you guys i want to i want to i want you to talk to me in the comments and let me know what you think about this guys if you've taken anything from this video i'd love for you to smash that like button and if you want to join the fam hit that subscribe button and join us on this ape journey i love you all guys lottery stocks out who like how we gonna get to this we focus on but trapping the we got all of us gonna make your one day like church